Okay, so hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Oscar Outdoors. Today I want to talk to you about a review about the Snugback Tropical Hammock. Okay, so if you go ahead and buy a hammock from Snugpack, this is something similar to what you will receive. Uh, it does come normally with a little picture of the product just inside there. Uh, but yeah, this is what you'll receive. You'll receive this little pouch with the hammock inside, the suspension system and the carabiners. Uh, the weight of the hammock, um, as is, is 600 grams. So that's everything, roughly, all 600 grams in there. Uh, but yeah, let's just talk about this pack first of all. So it comes with a little grab carry handle, two-way zips, really, really smooth, and then this mesh covering uh, makes it a little bit more breathable. Uh, but yeah, now it's time to set it up. Okay, so I'm going to open up the pack now. As I say, you do get the hammock and the suspension system. So the suspension system themselves is made from 550 paracord with some webbing tree protectors just unravel them okay so that's just a, a rough look there so I'll put these up just find your location on the tree that you want to use I'm gonna go on this bit okay make sure that the loop is coming out of the suspension system like so Just a little about eye level for me. Okay, then take the end of the paracord and just feed it through the loop that we have mentioned before. And then just pull until tight. That's it. As I said, these are uh, come these are made from 550 paracord. Okay, and then they have a knot at varying different intervals. Okay, so you can obviously extend or shorten your hang. So we're just going to do exactly the same on this side. So take your tree protector, place it around about eye level. Okay, make sure that you've got the loop at this end. And then take the knotted end of the paracord and just feed it through. And then just keep pulling and pulling and pulling until you get the desired effect. Okay, so the trees I've chosen are just out of shot. I've got one here and one there, probably around about 12 foot apart. Uh, but let's talk about the uh, the hammock itself now. Okay, so as with uh, most hammocks on the market, you'll see that the hammocks all come in their own stuff sack, which is stitched onto the side of the hammock. Okay, and the Snugback Tropical Hammock is no different from that. Uh, but yeah, it's made from 100% nylon, that's to make it more lightweight. But it's been triple stitched at the seams to uh, give it strength and durability. So, let's get it out of the pack. Okay, we'll just have a quick look at the aftercare label. Uh, you can see that it is machine washable at 30 degrees. Okay, don't iron it anything else, but yeah, machine washable. I love that about snug pack gear. Just being able to get home from a, a mud filled weekend and just stick it all in the washing machine. Unfortunately, this one is made abroad. Uh, it's not typical of Snugpack. Uh, they do outsource some products, but they do make a, a lot uh, right here in England. All right, it's time to get this bad boy hung up. So yeah, just simply find a carabiner in there and pull out of the stuff sack. As I said, that's integrated, stitched onto the side already. And these are quite durable carabiners. 
Uh, I've heard people complain about this little nodule here. I don't know what you call that. But yeah, that has caused a few people a few issues. Uh, so you can change these out if you want. Obviously, it's just simply threads out of the end of the uh, paracord. Okay, one of the first things you should do though, when you put your hammock up, uh, if it's been a long time like mine has, because obviously we've been in lockdown, is just check the, the knots. Check the knots, make sure that they're all still good and still in working order. Okay, then just choose a section. So we'll go for the shortest section first of all. Okay, and just simply snap the carabiner through. And we'll do the same on the other side. And that is essentially it to set it up. But if it's your first time getting in a hammock, uh, do it with caution. So approach your hammock, open out the material, make sure that we're not twisted. Okay. Grab some material, place it under your bum, and just sit down. Okay. Kick your boots off and lie back. See you in an hour. You know, I better get up on it. Oh. Okay, so we'll just bring you in for a closer look at the carabiner. Um, and then, obviously, these are the paracord suspension system. And then, obviously, this is the hammock going off in that direction. So yeah, as you can see, uh, this is made from 550 paracord as well, and it's a, a good knot on there, I have checked it. Okay, and then obviously the suspension system, same again. But we've still got all these other options, and obviously if you want a, another one, just simply tie an, or, an overhand loop knot. To create yourself another, another suspension height. But yeah, that's it. Right, let's have a look at the hammock. Okay, so as we've said before, the hammock is made from 100% nylon to keep it quite lightweight. And it's been triple stitched at the seams just to ensure strength and durability. Okay, so we'll just talk about the uh, dimensions of the hammock. So it's around about 9 feet in length, which is more than adequate. And as you can see, the wind's just helped me out there. It's 4.5 feet wide. And it's completely seamless so obviously nothing's going to tear up in the middle uh, and allow you to drop through there so it's just one piece of material triple sticks at the edges and stuff stack sewn in okay so i just thought i'd uh, lay back in the hammock while i thought to you about the rest of it um so price uh, if you look on snug pack's website it's available for around about 45 pounds i believe um which is you know very 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 reasonable uh, but it can be found cheaper if you do shop around um, yeah the material brilliant really really strong I think it's got a weight limit of uh, 180 kilos uh, which is probably twice me um, and I think I'm I'm somewhere between 15 and 16 stone at present um, yeah uh, so pros and cons so good bits bad bits so pros it's really really simple really really durable and the material is brilliant. Uh, setting up, snap, absolute breeze. Uh, you know, the suspension system, the paracord, uh, is really, really easy. Um, but you know, it does have its faults as well. So we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, and obviously, the pack size. You know, 1.2 ounces, 600 grams roughly, uh, for the entire weight brilliant uh, mine doesn't normally live in the carry case but the carry case is brilliant as well you know you can keep everything in there you know uh, I've got one uh, multi-use one at the minute and it's got in there my sleep pad my pillow and my suspension system that I do normally use 
because uh, I don't normally tend to use the paracord ones. Uh, I tend to use like a daisy chain one. So cons, yeah, um, the suspension system. You know, some people don't like the paracord ones. They have addressed that issue. Uh, have snug back and added uh, tree protectors in there, so a little bit of webbing around the paracord. Um, but you know, some people still don't like using paracord. Uh, but because it is paracord, you can lengthen it, shorten it. You know, carry a bit more paracord. You can have, you know, you can hang as long as paracord you've got with you. Uh, but yeah, I like the uh, daisy chain systems. They're a lot easier for me. Um, another con is the carabiners. Uh, they are heavy, they are bulky, um, and you can quite easily change them out for, you know, a, a lightweight alloy climbing carabiner, um, available all over. But yeah, I really like the hammock. Uh, is it the best on the market? Probably not. Um, is it usable? Yes. Is it comfortable? Yes. Mine normally lives inside uh, my hammock and coom all year round. I would take it out for this video. Um, just give me an opportunity to wash. <laughs> but yeah, I'll leave this inside because it compacts with the hammock and coom really well. And you know, it just can stay in there all year round. But yeah, I'll leave a link in the description to the hammock and to Snugpack's website. And anything else I can think of but yeah if you've enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up uh, comment below any questions any any ideas any thoughts let me know what you think about it and um, obviously I've let you know I don't use these suspension systems normally I normally use the daisy chains and um, I've already talked about the um, carabiners as well I do change them out but I want to show you the product as you receive it um, yeah that's, that's about it so don't forget thumbs up comment any questions or leave me an email address as well and don't forget if you're not already please subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next one